Michael Vines. And now our best of three winners, starting with the Australian Cattle Dog. The Australian Shepherd Dog. The Bearded Collie. The Belgian Shepherd Dog, Lapinois. The Belgian Shepherd Dog, Malinois. The Belgian Shepherd Dog, Tiburon. The Border Collie. The Briard. The Rough Collie. The Estrella Mountain Dog. The Finnish Lapland. The German Shepherd Dog. The Hungarian Cooley. The Lancashire Healer. The Norwegian Buhans. The Pyrenean Mountain Dog. The Pyrenean Long Haired Sheep Dog. The Samoyed. The Shetland Sheepdog. The Swedish Valhund. The Cardigan Welsh Corgi. And last but not least, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Pastoral breeds were developed to help man to herd his livestock, and they needed agility, stamina, and natural herding instincts. Their coats needed to be functional to equip them to cope with climate and terrain. Note the difference between the border collie, bred to work on the expansive fells, and the smaller Shetland sheepdogs, more compact to work on the less expansive areas of the Shetland Isles. The corgis, bred with their shorter legs, were ideally suited to work as healers rounding in livestock by nipping at their heels. We're also very pleased to report from Richmond today that all breeds on the high profile list have passed their vet checks and have all been present in the group. First dog, to come under Mike's expert eye, is the Australian Cattle Dog. This is a dog, number 2553, who was awarded best of breed by James Broadbury from the entry of 16. In the 1800s, Australians began crossing Dingo Blue Nile Collies to Dalmatians 
with black and tan kelpies. The result was a dog identical in type and build to the dingo, only with a thicker set and peculiar markings. Known originally as the blue or Australian healer, the Australian cattle dog manoeuvres cattle by crouching low behind them and nipping them on the heels. The Australian cattle dog, 2553. Next we have the Australian Shepherd. The breed was judged today by Brenda Banbury. She drew an entry of 30 and awarded best of breed to this dog, number 2580. <laughs> there are many theories about the origin of the Australian Shepherd. Despite its misleading name, the breed as we know it today probably developed in the Pyrenean Mountains, somewhere between Spain and France. It was called the Australian Shepherd because of its association with Basque Shepherds who came to America from Australia in the 1800s. The Australian Shepherd was initially called by many names including Spanish Shepherd, Pastor Dog, Bobtail, New Mexican Shepherd and California Shepherd. The Australian Shepherd Dog 2580. Margaret Harkin judged here the Collies today, and from an entry of 123, she found her best of breed winner in this dog, number 2672. One of Britain's oldest breeds, Beardies as they're often called, are believed to have originated with the Commodore in Central Europe, but were used to herd animals in Scotland for so long they became known as the Highland Collie. Later, the name was changed to Bearded Collie, since they have long facial hair, unlike other Collies. This is the Bearded Collie 2672. <coughs> now we come to the first of three Belgian Shepherd Dog. This is the Larkenwald, judged today by Nigel Luxmore Ball. And he found his best of breed winner in this dog, number 2718. The Lacanois comes from Boom near Antwerp, taking its name from the Chateau de Lacan, a royal residence of Queen Marie Henriette, whose favourite variety was the Lacanois. The Lacanois, as yet the rarest variety in the UK, has a pretty short, wiry type of coat with his reddish fawn in colour. Belgian Shepherd Dog, Lacanois, 2718. <laughs> this is the Belgian Shepherd Dog, Malinois, who also judged today by Nigel Luxmore Ball. Nigel had an entry of four and awarded best of breed to this bitch, number 2721.
Another of the four types of Belgian Shepherd dogs, the Malinois is an alert, high-energy breed popular as both a police and military working dog. The Malinois takes its name from the city of Malinais, and historically the breed has been the favourite type of Belgian Shepherd in its native country. Belgian Shepherd Malinois 2721. And the last of our trio of Belgian Shepherd dogs is made up of the Tavern. There was an entry of 36 today, and they were judged by Zena Thorne Andrews. Best of breed was this dog, number 2743. Tavern owes its name to the Belgian village of Tavern, the home of M.F. Corbel, an early devotee of the breed. It is believed that they were first whelped from a mating of two long-haired black tip forms. The protective instinct of these dogs provided security for the farm and the family, and their herding abilities assisted with the daily maintenance of the stock. Belgian Shepherd Tavern 2743. Valerie Frost ran the rule over an entry of 97 Border Collies. Valerie awarded best of breed to this dog, number 2779. In the border country between Scotland and England, border collies, first classified as the Scotch sheepdog, were invaluable to shepherds by allowing them to maintain large flocks of sheep. The breed as we know it today has been around for more than 100 years. In the second half of the 19th century, Queen Victoria spotted a border collie and became an active enthusiast. The Border Collie, best of breed number 2779. <laughs> Next we have the Briard. This is number 2887. It's a bitch who came through from an entry of 33 to judge Jeff Horswell. Centuries old and beloved by the French since the Middle Ages, the Briard has been depicted in 8th century tapestries and mentioned in records of the 12th century. In early times, Briards were used to defend their charges against wolves and poachers. After the French Revolution, the Briards were gradually transformed into more peaceful tasks of herding the flocks and guarding their master's property. The Briard, number 2887. Rough Collies were judged today by Jeff Luskett, who attracted an entry of 118. 
From that entry, Jeff found his best of breed winner in this dog, 2921. The exact origin of the collie is uncertain, but they have existed for centuries as herding dogs of Scotland and England. They were used primarily as a drover dog, guiding cows and sheep to market. The true popularity of the breed came about during the 1860s when Queen Victoria visited the Scottish Highlands and fell in love with the breed. From that point on, collies became extremely fashionable. Best of breed in rough collies, 2921. <laughs> Luis Pinto Tessera judged Australia Mountain Dogs today. From an entry of 35, he found his best of breed winner in this bitch, number 2009. The Estrella mountain range is in the central part of Portugal, and the Estrella is the Portuguese re relation of the flock guarding dogs that can be found anywhere from Asia, halfway across the world, to the shores of the Atlantic. The Australia Mountain Dog, number 2009. <coughs> this is the finished lap band, number 3061, a dog. He was selected by judge Roni Durgins as best of breed from an entry of 53. The original Finnish Lap Huns were the helper dogs of a tribe of semi-nomadic people, the Sami in Lapland, the northern region of Finland, Sweden, and in part Russia. Over hundreds of years, the Sami culture evolved into a more sedentary existence, which revolved around them keeping of reindeer herds. At the same time, the dogs evolved from hunters into herding dogs that helped maintain the reindeer stock. The finish lap hund 3061. There was an entry of 48 German Shepherd dogs for Judge Sharon Bowen. Sharon found her best of breed winner in this bitch, number 3115. Arguably the most popular breed worldwide, the Shepherd, as he is known to most people, provokes fiercer loyalties and enthusiasts' heart than virtually any other breed. The German Shepherd dog originated in 1899 at Karlsruhe, Germany, due to the efforts of Captain Marx von Stefanitz and others. Derived from the old breeds of herding and farm dogs, the Shepherd has evolved into the clever and versatile breed of today.
This is the German Shepherd Dog 3115. Hungarian Poolies drew an entry of 16 for Robin Newhouse. He awarded Best of Breed to this bitch, number 3121. As the ancient sheepdog of Hungary, the Puli has been herding flocks for Hungarian shepherds for more than 1,000 years. Puli ancestors were brought into the country by the Magyars from the Far East. The Puli was nearly lost in the 17th century due to interbreeding, but the breed was thankfully revived in the early 20th century. The Hungarian Puli, 3121. <laughs> Ray Parry was our judge for Lancashire Healers. Best of breed is this dog, number 3145, from an entry of 21. The origins of the Lancashire healer are not clearly defined, but it has been suggested that when cattle were herded from Wales by corgis to slaughter in the Olmskirk area, the Welsh healer met the Manchester Terrier with obvious results. Lancashire Healer 3145. And now we have the Norwegian Buhan, number 3166, a dog selected by Rony Durgins as his best of breed winner from an entry of 26. Hailing from Norway, the Buhan is one of the earliest known Nordic herding dogs belonging to the Spitz family. The breed as we know it today herded sheep, guarded farms and hunted bear and wolf. Ancient versions of the Buhan travelling with Vikings on their many journeys have been documented as far back as the year 900. Yeah, she went, yeah, she, she went four feet on the ground and things, that was amazing.
Norwegian Blue Hunt, 3166. We have all competitors in the breeders group for pastoral group into the collecting ring, please. That's the pastoral breeders group competitors to the collecting ring, please. Pyrenean Mountain Dogs drew an entry of 42 for Frida Marshall. Frida found her top dog in this bitch, number 3187. It is thought that the Pyrenean Mountain Dog originated in Central Asia or Siberia and followed the Aryan migration into Europe. The breed takes its name from the mountain range in southwestern Europe, where he is known as the Grand Pyrenees and used to guard flocks on the steep slopes. In addition to its association with the peasant shepherd, the breed was also cherished by the nobility and appointed French court dog in the 17th century by Louis XIV. This is the Pyrenean Mountain Dog 3187. <laughs> Wendy Smith ran the rule over Pyrenean Sheepdogs today and from an entry of seven, she found best of breed in this bitch number 3216. The breed's origins lie in the rural community and he has been selected to herd large flocks of sheep for as long as his master needs him to do so, as his name suggests. He has a particular head for heights when asked to perform in the mountains, and his long coat protects him from the low temperatures. The Pyrenean Sheepdog, 3216. Samoids were judged by Jane Usher. She awarded best of breed to number 3242, a bitch from an entry of 32. An ancient working breed, the Samoyed is very close to the primitive dog. No mixture of wolf or fox runs through the breed's gene pool. He was developed by the Samoyed people of Siberia. They use the dogs for herding reindeer, hunting, and hauling sledges, as well as guard work. The breed was cherished by these people, and they even allowed them to sleep in their tents. The Samoyed, 3242.
This is the Shetland Sheepdog, a dog number 3303. He was selected from an entry of 102 by Judge Barbara Tunnicliffe. Like the Collie, the Shelties history traces back to the Border Collie of Scotland, which, after being transported to the Shetland Islands and crossed with small, intelligent, long-haired breeds, was eventually reduced to miniature proportions. Over time, subsequent crosses were made with Collies. The breed worked as farm helpers and home protectors, watching over crofters' cottages, flocks and herds from invaders of all kinds. The Shetland Sheepdog 3303. Now we have the Swedish Valhund, and this was Roni Durgen's selection for best of breed. There was an entry of 23. It is believed that the Swedish Valhund goes back more than 1,000 years in Sweden to the days of the Vikings, where they were known as the Vikingarnahund, or the Viking dog. During the 8th or 9th century, historians state that either the Swedish Valhund was brought to Wales or the corgi was taken to Sweden, hence the similarities between the two breeds. The Swedish Valhund almost became extinct in Sweden in 1942, but was rescued from that fate through the efforts of Count Bjorn von Rosen of Sweden. The Swedish Valhund 3358. Now we come to the first of the two variety of corgi, this one being the cardigan. Cardigan Welsh corgis were judged by Jeff Duffield. He drew an entry of 11, from which this dog emerged as best of breed winner, number 3368. The cardigan first arrived in Cardiganshire, its place of origin with the Celts in 1200 BC. The breed became useful because the Crown owned practically all land and the tenant farmers were permitted to fence off only a few acres surrounding their dooryards. The rest was common land on which the crofter was permitted to graze his cattle. Instead of herding the cattle, the corgi would nip at their heels and drive them as far afield as desired.
Cardigan Welsh Corgi 3368. Now we come to the second of the Corgis and the last of our group contenders, the Pembroke Corgi. This breed was also judged by Jeff Duffield, who found his best of breed winner in this dog, number, 20, number 3401. There was an entry of 28. The Corgi from Pembrokeshire is a breed of a considerable antiquity. The direct ancestors of the Pembroke were brought across the channel in 1107 by Flemish weavers. The early progenitor is said to have had a resemblance to the old skipper keys and sprang from the same family that includes the Kazand, Pomeranian, Samoyed, Chow Chow, Norwegian Elkhound and Finnish Spitz. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi 3401. Michael's now taking a final look before making a short list of those dogs which will still be in contention for the four places in the group. And making the short list we have the Australian Shepherd. The Border Collie. The Finnish Laphund. The Hungarian Puli. The Norwegian Buhund. The Pyrenean Sheepdog. The Shetland Sheepdog. And the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. A big hand for our remaining group Winners who are leaving, thank you very much. Congratulations on your best of breed today. Please do show your appreciation as we see them go around one more time. It's the Australian Shepherd Dog, number 2580. <laughs> 2580, the Australian Shepherd. The Border Collie, 2779. <laughs> now look, you know, if you want to be on camera. <laughs> 2779, the Border Collie.
The Finnish lap poem, 3061. Three zero six one, the Finnish lap hunt. The Hungarian Puli, three one two one. Three one two one, the Hungarian Puli. The Norwegian Buhan, three one six six. Three one six six, the Norwegian Buhan. And the Pyrenean Sheepdog, 3216. Last of our short lifts, 3216, the Pyrenean Sheepdog. No, no, not the last, sorry, one more. The Shetland Sheepdog, number 3303. Three three zero three, the Shetland Sheepdog. And now we have the last of the shortlist. It's the Cardigan Welsh Corgi three three six eight. Three three six eight, the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. And the mic is called for the boards. And the winner of the pastoral group here at Richmond 2014, it's the Australian Shepherd Dog number 2580. Is it that? Group two. It's the Border Collie 2779. In group three, it's the Pyrenean Sheepdog, number 3216. And in group four, it's the Shetland Sheepdog, number 3303. 
big hand for our other shortlisted finalists, please. Congratulations. And let's have a lap of honour from our winners, starting with the Australian Shepherd Dog, the Border Collie, the Pyrenean Sheep Dog, and the Shetland Sheep Dog. Congratulations. Thank you very much to all of you for staying and supporting our best of breed winners and group placings. We hope you have a safe journey home and you return.